Yo my dudes and what is up? So today I'm coming to you with another strategy on how you can use Warlock to solo Apocalypse without taking any block damage whatsoever. So this is especially useful on those AQ or AW Apocalypse bosses that are essentially stun immune. So as you know for AQ especially the Apocalypse bosses in Act or rather Map 7 and map 6 they have really really high health pools so in terms of that not only really high health pools i mean i want to emphasize they have really high attack ratings so in other words when you're trying to bait out those um, special ones or even special twos for that matter which are easier to evade you're usually doing that by either reparrying or holding block and that's gonna give you or make you eat quite a bit of block damage especially at the higher levels where the top alliances play face off against these bosses with really really high attack ratings numbering in the 20,000 or even 25,000 attack rating or even higher so the thing is using this technique this approach you can safely intercept apocalypse to your heart's content using warlock especially because he's got a really really fast reaction time and his whole body is a weapon in that he stretches out, he extends his range. So even though, as we saw, I think it was, uh, yeah, give a huge shout out to Biro Man for his video on opponents that have, how to say, um, that have long range, or should I say, that have uh, deep dash in attacks. Yeah. So that allows you to actually do shallow evades more easily when facing those opponents with deep lying or deep invading dash in attacks so the thing is apocalypse's dash in his medium attack is quite deep however you've got to be really fast to react to it so most champions can do it to a certain extent i've done it consistently with corvus glaive and facing off against the aq apocalypse boss on map 7 and do all those shallow evades or shallow intercepts and light intercepts as well but sometimes sometimes or most of the time i would say 50% maybe 50% of the time it doesn't work out according to plan and you do get clipped and you eat a lot of damage but with warlock as you can see over here that doesn't happen with him why because he reacts so darn quickly fast enough to even when you're trying to do all those light intercepts if you mess up a bit or should i say if you get a bit too greedy and you want to light intercept apocalypse even when he has more than a bar of power he can react fast enough to a whiffed light attack, a light intercept, to block in time. So this keeps the momentum going. Basically, this is what I like to call a frenzy of intercepts. So what you're going to do with Warlock is basically you're going to be um, frenetically or frantically intercepting Apocalypse, trapping him in the corner. Whenever you're close to pushing him to an SP2, what you gotta do is, if you have your own SP2, launch that, push him as close as possible to his second bar of power. When he's around that level, just hold block when he's knocked down. The AI will tend to dash at you 9 out of 10 times, 90% of the time, I can guarantee that. So you can anticipate what the AI is gonna do, you can manipulate the AI into dashing at you and this is when you do your own shallow evade when you have apocalypse trapped in the corner and that's gonna work just do your own four or five hit combo push him to his second bar of power then evade that easier to evade sp2 although right now i've been practicing the sp1 evades as well so i've gotten that timing down pretty much but the sp2s are so much easier to evade you want to just dash back maybe two or should I say one dash back, two dash backs, mid screen or three quarter screen, and that's when you do the daxing of his energy bombs. All right. So as you can see here, previously before they revamped the apocalypse boss nodes in AQ, he used to have vigor and cutting wires. Cutting wires was especially annoying for robot attackers if you were rocking suicides. So using this method of warlock. Just intercepting frenetically against Apocalypse. You can basically use him to solo this boss without needing to use, let's say, champions like Corvus Glaive, where you would essentially have to time out because of things like running out of his Glaive charges or based on the epic notes that are employed for that day. Yeah, but with Warlock, you don't need to fear primarily because 
even though he has this new node, I believe it's called what a 15 second uh, thingamajig where you have to launch specials every 15 seconds only and if you do launch specials less than 15 seconds apart from one another you get what um 50 percent passive damage or degen damage or something like that so you don't have to worry about that with warlock essentially by the time you build up to your next sp2 while you are intercepting frantically in that frenzy it's just nice you won't suffer that particular damage so yeah so with that said of course this technique or using just warlock isn't the end all and be all solution to soloing apocalypse but then again hey it's yet another viable solution so i thought i would share this with you guys makes it easier don't have to rely on timing out not everyone is so-called uh, really skillful or really adept at using tiger right now so yet another option so anyways guys i'm about to sign off but i hope you enjoyed this short video on how to solo apocalypse by just purely using intercepts to avoid any unnecessary block damage so please do leave a like and subscribe and i'll catch you for the next one this has been sats signing off take care